Hey everyone, it's Nancy. Last night I needed to take a break from unpacking and moving furniture. My room is coming along pretty good. Um, there's still a lot of adjustments that need to be done and there's storage that still needs to be hung and that type of thing. I think I have about three, maybe four more boxes to, you know, unpack and put away. It's just a matter of, you know, you always have to set your stuff up so that it's convenient and within reach and how you, you know, want to use it. Um, so once I get everything settled, which would be in the next couple of days, I'll go ahead and show you my space. And, but so far I really, I like it a lot. This room is like almost twice the size of my other room. So lots more room to spread out and create and have fun. So, um, last night I had to make something. I was in crafters withdrawal. So, and the other thing is I got my Lindy's and I used made one project and I've been dying to use them so I had to do that but this is the box that I created um, this box had fallen when I was moving my room and this top here and this side split so I needed to repair the box and alter it so that's what I did and I covered the box with Tim Holtz tissue tape I used several different rolls and then I colored it using my Lindy's. I used um, the Cockle Bells Coral. This is the Starburst Spray. I used the Moon Shadow Mist in Crow's Nest Copper. I used Golden Doubloons in the Moon Shadow Mist. And then Desert Moon Cactus Gold in the Glitz Spritz and then in the starburst stain the dark chocolate truffle so um, I colored I sprayed the different colors on the box and then I used the blending tool with the foam on it to pounce the color and to blend them and to move them around and I really like the effect that I got from that but then when I went to seal the box um, and I used the I had got this in Texas on my way back from Oklahoma the Ranger glue and seal it's a multi-purpose glue and sealer and when I put this on the box it's like the the sprays and the stains turn to like a glaze so I was really able to move the color around with my brush and I really really like the way that it came out like that and it's sealed beautifully and it has a great shimmer it's like once the glue dried, the shimmer, the glaze still laid on the top, and I really like it. Um, I used several different Prima flowers and layered them, and I colored the flowers using the, um, I used the golden doubloons for the all-over color, and then I used the Cockabell's Coral for just the tips of the flowers and then just here and there I use the paintbrush and then I sprayed over the whole thing with the desert moon cactus gold and the glitz spritz and I really love the way that the flowers turned out you can see them hopefully that's focusing but they turned out really nice I added some Prima say it and pearls and some skeleton leaves and then I used one of the Tim Holtz timepieces with a game spinner. And then down here I used an ornate plate with the word play and I sprayed this with the Desert Moon Cactus Gold to give it some shimmer. And then on this, the trim and the pearls at the bottom and then here, the trim was just the white and then the pearls were the cream colored ones. But I sprayed them with my Lindy's to colorize them and the pearls I heat set it so the color would stay they turned out really nice you can see that beautiful shine on my box on the bottom of the box I painted it brown with the espresso paint dauber by Ranger and then I went over it using the starburst stain and the dark chocolate truffle to give that nice shine you can see that shimmer on there on the inside of the box, I used my paintbrush and the Starburst Stain and the Dark Chocolate Truffle 
and painted the inside and it's got a beautiful shimmer to it so that's my box um, I have not set up lighting in here yet so my videos for right now will have to be during the day I have one window in this room and it's right here to my right um, this room has vaulted ceilings so I don't really know how I'm going to be able to hang my overhead lighting I guess maybe with some chains or something um, if anybody has suggestions um, as far as lighting my the walls are really tall um, and then it has the vaulted ceiling so I just I really don't know how I'm going to hang my lighting so for now I have to just do videos and stuff during the day but anyway um, I hope to show you all video in the next couple of days of my new space and how it looks. Um, we have a little bit more work to do in here, a couple more things to hang up so that I can empty these last few boxes, but I had to create something I had to. It was driving me crazy. So, but anyway, thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.